back to the cephalic phase. So this is stimulated, initiated by taste receptors, olfactory receptors, the thought or sight of food, so vision, sight. This is gonna be um, triggering the, so it's okay. Senses or thought, triggering sensory receptors, ultimately triggering the cerebral cortex. Usually you're aware that you smelled or tasted or thinking of food, um, hypothalamus. And then we're gonna have the vagus nerve, which is parasympathetic, um, also some medulla, parasympathetic nervous response to the cells of the stomach. Okay, so let's tie that in, cells of the stomach. What cells are going to um, respond here? We're gonna have, indicate this here, mucus cells, chief cells, parietal cells, in, um, and we'll just edit here, okay, G cells. These are all going to produce their things. I'm gonna do this in a different color here. So we're gonna have mucus. We're gonna have pepsinogen. We're gonna have HCL and we're gonna have gastrin. You know what all of these do? These are all a critical part of digestion, um, except for gastrin. What does gastrin do? It's actually going to feedback and increase both of these, increase, um, almost a little positive feedback thing there. This here is a paracrine. It's acting as a paracrine from this enteroendocrine cell, which is a G cell. So this results in a huge amount of increase in gastric secretions, about 500 milliliters per hour. Remember I told you um, normally it's about three milliliters per day. Is that right? Um, but it's very short, so it's, it doesn't last an hour. So you're, it's just a high, quick rate 